This is Greg McGee of Greg McGee Engineering showing you how to replace the ballast in the bulb in one of the HID lights I sell. This is a 50 watt, 50 watt slash 38 watt HID light, 4500 lumen. And I want to replace the bulb and the ballast and show you how to do it. And most of these HID lights are pretty generic, so if you want to do this on your own light, feel free. Of course, I take no responsibility if anything happens or you do it improperly. So I'm going to re replace the bulb and the ballast on this HID light with my helper Sammy. Say hi Sammy. And my helper Brutus. Brutus. Say hi Brutus. So this is pretty easy to do. So here we have the HID light. Here we are. And what I'm going to do first, I will unscrew the top, the lens cover. Remove the lens cover completely. I'll light up the scene here with a little light. So remove the lens cover. And then basically drop the reflector out into the assembly. So we have the lens cover and the whole assembly dropping out as one. And then inside the light, there's three screws with a plate that hold the hold the light in, kind of suspended to the top of the light. So we loosen these three screws, and then we basically drop the battery out, and the light and the ballast will slip down on top of the battery. So here we go. There's the screw, three screws. I'll take a magnetic screwdriver so I can pop them out. One. Probably be easier with an electric screwdriver, but the screws are pretty small. Two, three, I'm illuminating here with an M32i, it's my, my photo camera, three, so now the plate is ready to come off, the plate is also magnetic but you could take it out or just drop it out. So I'll, I'll just pop it out. I'll drop it off. Now you can see the assembly with the ballast and the bulb is ready to drop out. So I unscrew the tail cap. And slowly drop out the battery. As I drop out the battery, you can see the ballast, the ballast and the light drop out also. And I'll make sure to catch this because this is a good one, so I don't want to damage it. And voila, there it is the bulb and the ballast. To replace the bulb, just go ahead and pop it out and swap the wires out, take the screws off. I won't do it on this one, but I, if anyone's really interested, you can email me and I'll make a video of me replacing the bulb only without the ballast on the HID light. So let me know if you want a video of that. Greg McGee at gregmcgeeengineering.com www.mte-usa.com www.gregmcgeeengineering.com so now I'm gonna if I'm gonna pretend this is a new bulb and a new ballast, but this is a good bulb and a good ballast. I'm not gonna replace it needlessly. But what I'm going to do is because I touched the light earlier, I'm gonna take a, a clean cloth and I'm gonna wipe any fingerprints off the HID light because you don't want to get fingerprints on these HID lights because they get hot and you don't want them to crack or explode. So I'll clean the bulb with my clean T-shirt which I just put on so I know it's clean. 
Make sure there's no fingerprints on the bulb. Then what I'll do is I'll also just prop it back into the assembly by sliding it in. And then I'll use the I'll use the battery as a as a kind of a stand for the assembly to realign the lights back into the stuff into the body. And now I'll put the tail cap back on. So this way it's suspended in place. Tail cap's back on. Now I will go ahead and realign the plate on top of the assembly. I'll drop it in there, being careful not to touch anything. And now I will go ahead and realign the holes. The holes are lined up. Now I'll use my magnetic screwdriver. Put the screws back in the holes. I guess you don't need a magnetic screwdriver, but they're they're really cheap, and you can get them anywhere. I think I got this one at Walmart for like two dollars or something. And now, I will take the lens assembly and put it on the same way that I took it off. I'll just turn the light upside down, guide it in there, screw it back on. And there it is, good as new. Pop it on, let it get warm. It may damage the camera, so I won't I won't actually light up the camera. But anyway, so that's how you prepare a 50 watt HID light. I think the 38 watts are about the same. I didn't try replacing one of those yet, but if someone really wants to, they can email me at Greg McGee at gregmcgeeengineering.com. And I will go ahead and rebuild a 35 watt or 38 watt HID. If you have any questions, again, email me, Greg McGee at gregmcgeeengineering.com, www.gregmcgeeengineering.com, or www.mte-usa.com, supplier of the finest LED lights on the market. Thank you.